that deadly biker shootout in Waco, there is new fallout. A detailed bulletin just issued to police officers in Houston and across the state. It claims the Bandidos Motorcycle Club is targeting high-ranking law enforcement officials with car bombs as payback for the arrests in Waco last Sunday. Meanwhile, a group of Houston area bikers is planning a peaceful protest in Waco tomorrow, they say, because they say police acted too hastily when they arrested 170 bikers and they're protesting the arrest of these three men in particular. Channel 2's reporter Kayla is joining us now to explain. Kayla? Well, the men I spoke with say they simply enjoy riding motorcycles and are not a part of biker gangs. They say that many of the people arrested on Sunday are just like them, but were in the wrong place at the wrong time. A group planning to go to Waco this weekend in the wake of the deadly fight between rival gangs. They say of the 170 people charged, some were arrested unfairly. There are some guilty people that need to answer for their actions, absolutely. But the majority of those people are not criminals. Tony Lee plans to drive to Waco on Saturday morning along with other motorcycle enthusiasts from Austin and Houston to protest the arrests. The group has named these three men from the San Antonio and Austin area as examples. Men that are fathers, they're, they're husbands to wives. They were there just to be at a motorcycle event, and now they've got arrested with a million dollar bond on them. Waco police have declined to comment on claims that innocent bikers were arrested. Lee says they don't want a confrontation, they just want their message heard. There were no motorcycles, no support shirts, no support clubs, none of that business. We're just going to go up there, we're going to make some banners, and we're going to stand around and try to get some attention of the Waco Police Department and maybe the Waco media. Now, organizers say they plan on protesting outside of the county courthouse in Waco from noon until 2 tomorrow. They say they've been told as long as they remain peaceful, they're welcome in town. Reporting live, I'm Kayla Ayers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. New at 6 o'clock tonight, a huge bust of Houston's biggest...